Hey guys, Paul with CP Addict. We're here at our world headquarters, if you will. Don't mind the air conditioning running in the back because it's hot as hell here right now. So we're out here today in the Texas heat, yay. Um, gonna shoot an install video. And as always, if you like our videos, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. We're gonna try and keep bringing you content and, and uh, installs, tech tips, things like that. So always be up to date on our newest, uh, newest videos by liking and subscribing. Today, I know this is oddball, but I've got one of our smoke tail lights, one of our clear tail lights, a set of our red bulbs, white bulbs, our flasher, and all the tools to install it with. Um, so I went and grabbed one of our hand-picked trucks. This is our 77,000 mile one. Uh, I figured what better truck to put it on than, uh, or to show you an install video on than one of the nicest trucks that we've seen in a long time. So anyways, I've got everything laid out here that we'll need to install a set of our tail lights with bulbs, flashers, everything to make it work in, in any truck, automatic or standard. So obviously install tool, one Phillips screwdriver. There are four screws that hold the tail lights in these trucks. There's one here, one here, and two on, on the outside edge. So what I typically do is I'll loosen each screw slightly before I take them completely out. The reason I do this, some of these tail lights have been on these trucks for 20 something years and the screws are either corroded in the hole or first one thing or another and it makes them difficult. The tail light wiggles all around. So if you just loosen each one, see like this, this one's pretty snug in here. You can see the tail light trying to wiggle around on me. Obviously you could do this with a drill, but we prefer not to use a drill because if you over tighten the screws or if you don't get the screw lined up just so, you can wind up cracking your tail light housing and you're not going to with an actual screwdriver. So if you'll give me just a minute, I'll get these tail lights off for you. All right, so obviously major install tool here. We've got all the screws out. I'm hoping you can see these. The two screws with the washers go on the inside and the two long screws go to the outside. They really won't interchange, but just so we're all on the same page, that's how they go. Earlier I said, you know, be sure and use this because you don't want it to crack a tail light housing. All of our tail lights the screw holes are not pre-tapped and pre-drilled. So as you screw the screw in, it cuts its own threads. If you go too fast, use the wrong screw, something like that, you're liable to wind up busting the tail light. So a lot of you have bought our tail lights and know that we carry a one year warranty on our lighting products to, to basically cover any defects, workmanship, fading, cracking, water getting in them, anything like that. But if you bust the light, by screwing in the screw too fast or, or wrong, wrong screw, wrong hole. Um, I can't warranty that. So I'm just trying to give that as a, as a quick tech tip. But now we've got all of our screws out, lights are ready to come out. They just slide out, untwist the lights. So as you can see, these just twist lock into place, real simple come out so the bulbs are real simple they just pop out of the socket all right so now we've got all of our bulbs out and are ready to go back in with our LED bulbs our packages we take great pride in our packaging so each bulb set will come individually wrapped it will be written what color the bulb is on the package itself and then the bulbs will be individually wrapped in bubble wrap. So we'll open these, we'll get them out. Eventually. So 
So we opted for not a red styled bulb. So when it goes in the tail light, it's got a little better look on it. So there's the red ones out. Now take my handy dandy remote keyless entry. This is cool to have. We'll unlock the truck. And so to make sure that the lights work properly, I'll turn the park lights on and we'll plug the bulbs in so we make sure we've got full function on them like they're supposed to be. We always take the original bulbs out first because if you turn the park lights on to test which bulb is what or what color or what direction, these damn things get so hot you can't touch them. You burn your fingers eh, trying to take it out. So take those out first, then turn your park lights on. So I'm fixing to go turn the park lights on so we can get the red bulbs installed properly. So obviously these are pretty self-explanatory. They just are a plug socket. They plug straight into the housing. The upper housing obviously is always the tail light section. Plug it in, it lights up red. We'll go to the other side. It's, light, it's lit up red. So the reverse lights can be a little more tricky. We'll get our white lights out so these are a little more tricky than the than the tail lights this is all personal preference on how you want to do this this is personally how i do it i'll get in the truck i'll set the emergency brake turn the key to the on position and drop the transmission in reverse or if you've got a five speed set your emergency brake turn the key on and just put the transmission in reverse that way we can make sure these are lit up properly so i'm going to go put the trans in reverse real quick sure help if i had the key so transmission's in reverse, light plugs in, it's on. Light plugs in, it's on. So now I'll go take the trans out of, out of reverse, put it back in park, turn the key back off so the battery doesn't drain. And I'll also turn the park lights off and then we'll reinstall the tail lights. All right, so we're ready to put our tail lights back in. And like I said, this is kind of oddball. I want to show you both tail lights in the broad daylight. I mean, it can't get any brighter out. There's not a cloud in the sky. So to give you an idea of what the color looks like on the smoke and what the color will look like on the clear installed daylight lights running everything. So tail light, lower bulb in the socket. All right, so there's, there's three teeth on the bulb itself and three holes. Find the wider of the set of teeth and line it up with the widest hole and they just lock into place. Same with the upper and boom, it's locked into place. So I always start with the washer set up. It helps keep the tail out in the truck. I'll finger tight. Each one same goes for the outside screws. Sometimes you may have to look in from the side and line your screw up with the, with the original hole. Get out our handy dandy installer tool. Same thing on the reinstall as the install. I do a little bit each time. All right, so tail lights are now installed. You can see what the color of a smoke set looks like, what the color of a clear set looks like. I'm gonna help try and clear up some confusion, I guess. We get a lot, a lot, a lot of calls about LED tail lights in an OBS and an automatic transmission. My cousins, brothers, mamas, uncles, stepson, half removed said that it's gonna mess with my transmission. So that can technically happen if you don't follow these steps so chris and i put a lot of time into figuring out what would work best in these trucks and and tested them to the hilt to make sure you're not going to have any problems so if you add an led light to your third brake light guaranteed trans shift issues even if the trend even if that light is blown out you'll have issues but if you use our bulbs that we've supplied along with one of our flashers 
goes just in the basic fuse box in the truck. You're not gonna have a single issue with LEDs and your trans in an automatic truck. You guys with a five speed, y'all don't gotta worry, it's, it's whatever. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go up, I'm gonna install the flasher. Seth will shoot how the flasher is installed in the truck here in just a second. But I'm gonna close the tailgate and turn the lights on so you guys can see what the park lights look like in the daytime with both smoked and clear and what the flashers will look like, AKA your blinkers in the full daytime on these particular lights. So here are the park lights on, middle of the day, plenty bright enough to be seen by anybody that's not half dead on the highway or has their head up their butt. So these are plenty bright enough to be seen. I'm gonna go turn the flashers on so you can see what they look like if the blinkers were on. So as you can tell, park lights are still on, flashers are flashing where you would see blinkers. What we're gonna do is, is Seth is actually gonna do a close up of the smoke tail light and then he's gonna come over and do a close up of the clear tail light. And we're also going to show you where the flasher mounts inside the truck. So we get a ton of questions about the flasher and how it works and all that and install. It's really pretty basic. So we got the flasher here, fuse box, gentle, pull the cover off out of the way. Here's your flasher for your blinkers. So literally just pull it out. This is what your factory one looks like. It's what all the trucks should have in them. See this one even still says Motocraft on it. New flasher ready to go in. Line up the tabs with the old. like so push it and lock it in it is a little taller than the factory but your fuse box cover still goes back on rotate it up and into the hole line up your pins and push it in place boom it's hidden you don't see it that's all there is to making the flasher work in these trucks and making the blinkers work properly and making the trans shift properly so any questions feel free to call anytime all right, folks, so that's basic LED tail light install on an OBS truck uh, using our, our kit that we supply. Super simple install. We've literally been out here 30 minutes and that's because I was taking my time. I've done these so many times, I could do it with my eyes closed. But anyway, as always, if you have any questions, feel free to give us a comment in the comment section, email info at cpaddict.com. And if you like our videos and our content, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. That way you get the latest and greatest as soon as we come out with it. Cause we just thought of doing this video today.